Okay, to begin embedding a Padlet into Schoology, you'll see that I've created uh, my own little folder here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Add Materials and I'm going to add my Padlet on a page. And you can title it whatever you would like when that page pulls up. I'm also going to go over to my dashboard on Padlet. So you can see here I can always press um, New if I want to create a new Padlet or I can go down to the uh, Padlet I've created before. So I'm going to go ahead and go to one I created before. This is a little Tato Heart one. I used Padlet Shelf to make these various columns. So to share my Padlet, I'm actually going to press the ellipses right here. And I'm going to press Share and Embed. And I need to get my embed code because I want this embedded in Padlet so students don't have to click anywhere. It's just right there for them to access. And now I'm going to just press copy. And that's going to get me the Padlet code that I need. Now when I come back to Padlet, I mean back to Schoology, I can just say Padlet. Uh, maybe this is a warm up. If it's a K KWL chart, it's something I'm returning to over and over again. So now that I have the HTML of the embed, what I'm going to do is go over here and switch to HTML. And I'm going to paste the HTML code and press create. So what I've done right there now is I've made a page. If students were to click on it, they will see the Padlet come up right there. And they can easily add in information by pressing the little plus signs right here. Uh, if I want to make it where that Padlet is visible without me having to press into the page, the way that I would have done that is in edit. I'm now editing my page and see that orange it's going to show up as orange. Don't worry. It shows up as orange until you press save changes. If I instead of saying it display on a new page, I click down here where it looks almost like a little um almost like a little newspaper article and what I've just activated it is display in line. And so what that'll do is that'll make it where students don't even have to click on it. Um, that's my preferred method of doing things um, as long as the organization makes sense. So if I come to my folder, this is immediately what I see. I can, of course, go back and change that if I decide against that. So that's how you add the Padlet embed code. And you can use pretty much any iframe embed code there is for anything that you might be playing with out there in Web 2.0.